Hello, this is Mr. Beck. This tutorial is designed for my 8th grade Android programming class. We're going to talk about how to take uh, a JPEG, a logo, uh, some type of a graphic, convert it to an SVG, a scalable vector graphic, and uh, import it into Blender so that we can then modify it to work within one of these live wallpaper templates. Uh, if you haven't taken a look at some of the other tutorials I have that discuss for example, OpenGL Wallpaper Flick, which is on my GitHub account. That's github.com slash Android Teacher. Go ahead and uh, check those out before you do this one because I talk about how to export the models and how to sort of get things running uh, within this template. You want to be familiar here before... Um, taking on this because this is just a matter of uh, creating a new model. So uh, what I've done is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to grab a JPEG from the internet like this. And the simpler the better really. Uh, once we get this into Inkscape we're going to lose all the color. And uh, you're going to have to retexture it within Blender. So if you have a, a JPEG that has a lot of complex color uh, it may not be the best choice but uh, simple uh, JPEGs like this are pretty easy to work with. So I've grabbed uh, an Android here, and here I am inside of Inkscape. Now, if you don't have Inkscape on your computer, go ahead and apt-get install it. And I'm going to choose File, and then Import, and just go ahead and bring it in. Choosing Embed. All right. And what we want to do is we want to create a path. So I'm going to go Path, and in this case, I'm going to choose trace bitmap. Uh, we have several different options here. Um, you can play with any of them. But uh, for this one I'm going to use color quantization. And you know if I choose update to get a preview you can see my edges look a little grainy here. So I found that if I knock the number of colors down I get much sharper edges and it looks better. Uh, you could try edge detection or brightness cutoff using a threshold and you may get something that works as well. So I'm going to click OK. And you can see we've lost the color on the model, but now we have a path uh, that we can convert pretty easily uh, and get into uh, Blender. So now I choose File, and then Save As. And we're just going to call this, you know, it's an SVG file. And now inside of Blender, we have that import functionality, which is pretty easy. File, and then Import, and then SVG. And I'll go ahead and locate it. There it is. And we're going to want to make some of those standard moves at first where uh, we get the origin to the geometry. So I'm going to choose Object, Transform, and then Origin to Geometry. And I'm going to snap it to the center this time with Shift-S. Shift-S, and I'm going to go Selection to Cursor. Now, sometimes it may, you know, I'm looking at it, and if this is going to be rotating in the center of our live wallpaper, I can tell it's going to look a little lopsided, and it's tricky getting these things centered just right. I'm going to pull it over a little bit to get my Y axis to sort of cut through the center of this guy a little bit better. And then I'm going to choose Object, Transform, and Origin to 3D Cursor, and just sort of recenter it. Uh, you can recenter your object like that uh, pretty easily and just sort of get him where you want to. and you know, as you sort of drop it into the wallpaper and see how it's rotating, uh, I find that I have to come back here and make adjustments uh, to get it to work just right. So, the next step is to hit Alt-C, and uh, I'm going to create a mesh from uh, a curve meta surf text. And what we've done now is we've created a mesh from this. And if I go into edit mode, you can see that we have all these faces. Uh, this is where you're going to want to texture your model. And you have some options here. Um, you could take the default texture if you want your model to be just one color. And uh, you can click on, you know, the, the button here for the diffuse color. And I'm just going to slide green all the way up. And you can see that it becomes green. Now, if you have a model where you want multiple colors, it's simply a matter of uh, selecting. I'll usually like select faces, or you could use your circle select tool with C, you know. But if I select one face like this, or any face, or any group of faces, 
I can create a new material, okay? Um, I can assign that material to the new face, and it will be anything that I tell it, okay? So you can give your model multiple colors by selecting faces and assigning off new materials. Uh, in this case, I do want the entire model to be green. All right. Uh, and, you know, the last step is, uh, well, it's almost the last step, I guess, is to, you want to extrude this upward to make a nice 3D model with E. Now, when you're looking at um, a scaled vector graphic that's been imported into Blender like this, a lot of times, um, when it gets to, by the time it gets to the, the live wallpaper inside of Android, these edges, you can kind of see those. And that's something that when I'm working with this technique, I find myself trying to strike a, a balance that's reasonable. Um, I, you know, I don't want a lot of edges no, to be noticeable, um, but at the same time, there's a little bit that I can kind of live with. Um, if you notice, for example, let's say these creases in the front seem to be showing up inside of the wallpaper, we can do this. If you hit C to circle select or face select or however you want to do it, this works well on flat surfaces, but when you start getting into surfaces that aren't flat, it, you tend to get results that make the model look a little bit worse. Um, I'm going to select the faces that where the creases are. And the, the key you can hit is F. And what that's going to do is it's going to join the selected faces into a single face. And you can see I missed one there. Let's see if I can get it. And, uh, you know, and that's going to help uh, in certain circumstances. It really just depends on what it is you're looking for. But um, you can sort of eliminate some of those creases pretty easily with the F shortcut after selecting multiple faces. That's a pretty good trick that uh, I find uh, to be helpful. So uh, once you have your model in shape, uh, it's ready. To, you're ready to go ahead, unwrap it, um, bake the textures to an image, and uh, export everything out to the template and it will work just like uh, any other model we've worked with this year so thanks for watching and good luck